Hey guys and welcome back to Studio One with me Gregor. Studio One features a couple of very interesting and useful visibility options that are hidden inside of the track options that I want to show you today. So the track options inside of Studio One can be accessed by clicking on this wrench icon here in the top of the track list. And if you want to have a detailed walkthrough of all of the options that are available in this menu because they can profoundly change how Studio One works and operates, then please check out my detailed track options walkthrough video that I'm linking to you in the top corner. But here we want to focus on a couple of visibility options that you might underestimate at first sight. And there's actually four of them that I want to point out today. The first one would be the option to show track icons. This is an option that I've always underestimated in some sense. I know that other DAWs had this before Studio One had it and I didn't really understand the point until I started to use them. Let me just tick this option right here and you see that you get these icons that you can set yourself actually by clicking here. I have different categories with really nice icons available here and you can also rescale them as your dragging on this handle and I find that I don't really have to read the track names anymore when I select these tracks which sounds kind of trivial but it's really not especially when these track heights are a bit smaller and also I like to use it not on every track but just on significant tracks and then I never lose sight of them no matter how many tracks I have in my arrangement. So these track icons are really fine, surprisingly useful, and that's why I wanted to point them out first. So let's look at the next option that I really like, that is track notes. Show track notes is an option that I really like because it can help a lot in focusing your workflow a bit more on the things that really matter. For example, what I like to do every morning when I come into the studio to mix is I take a first listen to the project I'm currently working on and take just a few track notes. So when I tick this box, you can see that there's another column being added right here next to the track icons. I can also rescale that and make it as wide as I need it to be. And as I'm hitting play on the first listen, for example, on this song that I'm currently working on, I just like to take a couple of notes here just to make sure that I'm not forgetting all the things that I noticed upon first listen because that's very likely the stuff that others would also notice upon first listen and that's always the most critical. So here, for example, I would say that bass accent just lacks a bit of punch. I want these bass notes to be clearer and uh, would write something like increase punch and emphasis. And I would do that for every track where I notice there's just something a little bit off. And as soon as I fix that problem, for example, with a compressor in this case, I could then go ahead, remove the track notes and add some new ones after taking a break. I find that doing this really keeps me focused on what's important and I lose track less of what I actually set out to do to improve the mix. I don't have these hyper tunnel focus uh, sessions anymore where for two hours I have no idea what I'm actually tweaking in the mix because I'm setting a goal and I work towards that goal and once that's finished then Hopefully the production will be finished. The next item on my list here is show chords on events. This can be very useful because then you can show the chords on any audio events in your song. And that can be very useful information, of course. Also, you can drag and drop this directly onto the chord track to generate a chord progression section. And these can now be followed by all of the other tracks if you set them to chord track follow. Very useful, super creative feature to try out some different chord progressions and have the entire song follow instantaneously. If you want to learn more about the chord track, please check out our video on that. That's also linked in the top corner. The fourth and final visibility option that I want to show you today is show instrument part envelopes. This can be very useful to declutter the visual information, particularly on MIDI instruments. So if you're working with MPE a lot in Studio One, then I'm sure you know these crazy automations that can happen when you enter node controller data, right? And all of this automation data is actually displayed directly on the part which 
if we're honest, looks very, very ugly and can be super annoying if you're using multiple of these complex automations in your production. And that's where I really like this option here to just hide the instrument part envelopes because then I have clean MIDI parts that look much better in the arrangement, in my opinion, and I can still access all of that automation data by simply double clicking the respective event. And here, as you can see, I now have all of this MPE data that I can edit. Hopefully you didn't know all of these visibility options yet that are hidden inside of the track options, or maybe it was a good refresher for you at least to use these options. They can be much more useful than it first seems. Thank you for watching.